Hello there, how's today? I'm Mega Kita Des. Alright, so recently Gordon Ramsay, one of the well-known chefs out there, got into an accident and it's kind of like scary. I mean like if anyone wanted to know what my reaction at the time was, I was almost have the same reaction as Edmond Ghost when I saw the injury that Gordon Ramsay suffered from an accident. And it's really kind of interesting because at the time when I saw this kind of balloon, this post blown on my time zone, I mean, I was like looking at it and I saw like wear a helmet. I was not very sure about why it started out at this, but as I read along, I realized that Gordon Ramsay really got into a very bad accident. And in what Charlie's son or our Penguin Z you mentioned along the line being hit by the sledgehammer five freaking time i mean like looking at the damage over that is insane it's crazy and that is the one of the worst blunt trauma injury i ever see in my life i mean like that's freaking like the whole of the, the half of the freaking body and i can't imagine that him would have like how how much injury we have suffered if he not wear a freaking helmet so, as Gordon Ramsay actually go along the uh, highlighting the importance of wearing a helmet, how much he has saved his life, like how much I mean, like his you can just basically know that the, his hand was shaking throughout, like how much he was still uh, having that tra uh, traumatized experience at the time. But the most important thing at the end of the day is that he highlighted that it doesn't matter if you're going on a long distance or a short distance of travel on a bicycle, as long as you're out on a bicycle, you wear a freaking helmet and I, I think like in the whole ordeal um Tra charlie when he actually put up almost a 10 uh around 10 minutes video about the importance of wearing helmet as well i agree with many of his point because considering that when it comes to injury right one of the things out there to protect you from having a worst case scenario uh which is basically wearing a helmet i mean like even link from I'm pretty sure it was Ling from uh, Good Mystical Morning himself also highlighting that it was his helmet that saved his life once because he was in a uh, he did showcase he, he was injured once in a very bad way and it really showed how important that wearing a helmet does save a life and the reason why it was that is that if the injury was so damn bad to this point you can't imagine that what would happen if he landed on his head like the thing is right our human part work on uh, like is what keeping our body alive but what make those organs what make our body move what make our body breathe everything is all in the brain so if you remove that brain you're basically your whole body is going to fall apart it's going to be dying off and even if even if you go and search out brain dead situ situation a lot of cases they will say that brain dead situation is very hard to save and that you the person will be dying sooner or later even once the life support get removed so at the end of the day a lot of people need to understand that the importance of our body is that if even if you even if no matter what your situation is even if you're going for a one minute cycle two minute cycle one hour cycle wear a freaking helmet and i can assure you that in japan as well as in singapore there is something called wearing a helmet rule so the helmet rule is monetary uh is uh is compulsory is monetary and even in japan and singapore in singapore is much worse because if you got caught for riding a bicycle without a helmet, you could be fined up to $1,000 or even get jail. Yes, you get jail. Harsher in Singapore? That's how Singapore works. So it's really one of the things that I feel like people need to understand. Often more than not, wearing a helmet go a long way because not only is it protecting your head. I know so, like what uh, Charlie Sun said along the line, like, hey, the it's the, it doesn't protect you from your face, it doesn't protect your face, it doesn't pro uh, protect your injury from your body, it doesn't protect whatsoever. But the most important at the end of the day, we have to agree that it's protecting your freaking brain. And yet at the same time, I know some people will be saying like, hey, we are dumb, we are stupid, we are whatsoever, and even if our brain got injured, it doesn't affect us. But the thing is, what you guys may not be aware is that even if people call you dumb, even if people call you stupid, at the end of the day, you can just say that your brain is there to keep you alive. It's pumping blood, it's helping to tell your heart to pump, it help, it's telling your lung to breathe, it's telling your stomach that when you're hungry along the line, that's what your freaking brain is. It's not just only to make you remember a lot of new things, a lot learn a lot of new things, 
watch a lot of new things and understand a lot of new things along the line it is freaking helping to keep your body alive and if you lose your freaking brain obviously you're gonna be sayonara bye bye and titian so the thing is right i don't think i will be even meeting you anytime soon the only time i'll be meeting you if you do not wear a helmet and you get into a serious injury the only thing is that i'll probably see you in heaven or hell depending on which uh which place i'll end in and i'm not even sure am i uh praying to the right uh, same religious as you because apparently everyone in a different religious end up in a different place along the line so it's kind of interesting that uh a lot of people always say that not uh having a helmet or not having a helmet it doesn't go a, uh, doesn't go a long way in however what a lot of people is not aware is that you like for golden rency that kind of injury can heal but your brain can't heal if your brain got so damaged and there are cases that if you go and search it out some people have such a humongous blunt damage to their head that they either became coma or end up being a vegetarian state or they even became brain dead there are even cases where people who don't wear helmet end up having losing their head so at the end of the day it's really important that how a helmet can go a long way and it's really something that you have to be very very careful but again i can understand why some people will say that hey helmet just make you stupid along the line or it is it is you can't breathe along the line if you can't breathe and you want to cycle don't even think about cycling anymore because it, it, there are the certain risks of danger to it i mean like if you are cycling in maybe a small area where there is no sort of injury maybe but then again who knows you may end up flipping your bicycle for some reason and end up even in more uh danger than any than anyone who had thought because you may end up landing on your freaking head but then again um it's really something that i feel like everyone should be careful if you are a person who cycle or riding a bike or so, 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 uh whatsoever there is like anything that is considered two wheel up there along the line wear a freaking helmet it is very very important but just to answer to charlie's son question about why he feel like um why also there are some people who is so dumb enough to say that not wearing a helmet is is better but the thing is right why would they want to wear helmet when they are considered dumb because when, if you look if you kind of like break down what is the word dumb it just mean that they are stupid or they are no they have no brain along the line and if they had no brain why would they want to wear a helmet when it when the things that the helmet is protecting is not just the head but it's mostly the brain so if they have no brain to protect themselves i guess you don't really need to wear a helmet so what and if anyone asks me how are they still alive who knows maybe they are just zombie living among us and they are just out there binding their time asking for where's the brain i e but then again that's just my flexibility talk just a random chat along the line if you have your own talk your own view or your own date right in the comment below we can discuss further but the only thing i would just say for now is that speedy recovery to gordon ramsey hope you recover well take care man love you and for everyone who love this video uh don't forget to press the like video uh press the like button what the press like press video what the hell am i saying but who knows but again if you do want to subscribe for more random chat just press the subscribe button it's just there shiny below free telephone but till then hope you guys have a nice day all night bye